Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn, and welcome back to Minecraft Bewitchment. Rewrite. Um. Uh oh. It appears if you log in and out of the game, your death list. No, oh no, there the line's going directly down. Excellent. A close too. I thought it despawned. That's very worrisome. Still this way a bit. Right around here should be just fine. Should have thought this through a little bit more. Just my whole inventory is gone. Making this all rather difficult. <clears throat> it's all down there by that monster box. It was rather terrible. So, I reckon I should get myself a pickaxe and some spare wood. Also, it's right above lava, so I should be careful about this. Alright. Oh. Well. As I say, X marks the spot. So, I guess we're going that way. Get ourselves a stone pickaxe really fast. What? Why is Minecraft's music so overpowering loud? Like, look at this. I've it turned down to 10%. And it's still as loud as the rest of the game. It's absurd. My goodness. Actually, the game's also just pretty loud right now. Can't realize. Turn that down a little bit. All right. Well, away we go. So, just drop a few levels. Hopefully, not die a horrible death. Yeah, oh my, it gets very dark. Which mod's doing that? Well, apparently, we need to keep going down. Hopefully, we don't hit bedrock or pit of lava and just land into a nice cave. Second thoughts, this is a terrible plan. What am I doing? I can't see anything. It's the dark oh, I'm underwater. Great. Up here I have fallen into a pit filled with water. This is absurd. Um, this is a nightmarish situation. Oh my goodness. No. I refuse. This is too horrible. This is actually giving me anxiety. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, end rod? What? Oh, end rod doesn't stay float underwater? Alright, here's a wall into reality. Oh, that's right, close. Excellent. Still. <clears throat> Not. I, I just couldn't handle that. That was a little much for me. Oh my. Goodness. Actually terrifying. Like, look at this mess. Which modder did this? At least the monster box is gone. My word. That was terrible. Like, just to oh, drop you into the underwater lake is... And you can't see anything, it's just so dark. I actually couldn't handle that. It wasn't so much, uh, oh, this is too difficult. It was more of, this is too disturbing. Right here's a, our little batty friends are dying in lava. Yeah, that was just... Ugh! I did not like that. I really did not like that. That's a very disturbing... disturbing event. This situation. To say the least. Not something I would want to do again. I can say that for certain. There we go. 64 and 16. 
Unfortunately, I think it's 16 isn't actually a very good amount. I would like to get a little more gold. Ah. Ask for it and you shall... What the... Now, okay, you cause blindness. You are a miserable creature. Yeah, it appears I've found my way into a dungeon of some sort. I'll investigate that after I get my gold. Alright. Let's just illuminate that so we don't die. I could get rid of this lava through some clever mechanics in thermodynamics. A blood moon is rising. Wait, what? Wait, am I playing Breath of the Wild now? Here's I can't read bottle the genie. There we go. Okay. Well, wonderful news. We got Blood Moon apparently. Does that make monsters spawn even in light? I bet it does. Which bright spark decide to put that in this mod pack? Ooh, look, we'll have a Blood Moon. Everyone loves Blood Moons. They're the best. I mean, they already added the horrible. Um, the stronger mobs with their stupid special effects, so why not? Why not add something else inane and silly? It's not like they can do any more damage. Alright. Not that I'm insulting the people who made the mod back, it's just questioning their choices. That's worrisome. Makes me think they might be a little bit psychopathic. Okay. We'll, ample, we'll sample an ample amount of more iron. And I should actually grab a large quantity of coal so I can actually smelt all this garbage. So I'll head back now with what I've gotten and look for some coal. Is this the way back up? Oh my goodness, we are right around the bend. It would have actually been very easy to get my stuff. Well, there's the coal over there. We can go grab that. It's like right across the way. How about that? So, we need to extract this root so we can get the coal. And that will be absolutely grand. Don't back up too much when you're walking backwards. There's lava right behind you there. Alright, thank you for the advice. Ah, it's very satisfying mining in Minecraft. I think I've said this before, but it's just, I think it's one of the things that makes the game so good. Especially survival modes, just mining. And especially when you get those mods with hammers and like, no, this is not close to the exit at all. I was mistaken. Very good. But yeah, it's just one of those things that makes the game so worthwhile to play. I mean, not only can you build anything in this creative mode, which in itself is pretty incredible. You can also just mine underground, which, and garden, and various other things. Which is just so satisfying, I think, to humans. It's part of their nature. It's just building and exploiting resources. Yes, I'm saying that humans are exploitative in nature. You know, it's a little cliche, but it's true. It's just a fact. It's not a commentary or saying we're evil. And I don't, I mean exploit as in the getting resources. This is very cool. Now let's just move away from that topic. This is very cool. This little spladoosh of water up here. Oh, it appears to be into one of the greater well systems. Lovely. I do love myself a greater well. Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm a joke. But I am comedian. Slash entertainer. Oh dear. It is. I made a mistake of some sort. It's a source of light. You have to look all the way over there. I don't really fancy trying to make it. But once you go into the water, it gets very dark. Yeah, this could be a terrible idea. 
just so intriguing. Oh dear. Okay, got some air back. Here we are. Shortcut. Hardly, but a shortcut nonetheless. Because I forgot to investigate this. It's a good thing I remembered to come back. Almost just, there's like a dead end corner filled with spider webs. That leads into a, a cobblestone cave filled with webs. Alright. I'm interested. I'll bite. I'll get stuck in a web, apparently. I wonder what this all is. What does it mean? Oh, it's very interesting. Most interesting, indeed. Definitely something new to explore. Find out what exactly is going on here. Some sort of underground horrible cave system. Most excellent. Ooh, there's little mushrooms growing. Well, they're expecting a horde of spiders to appear. And they seem to have forgotten their duties. Also, quite lost underground. Ooh, it appears to be the top of one of the water systems. Most excellent. Alright. Well, let's just go up above one of the great wells. Ah, a lovely amount of coal. That sound effect's very similar to one from Dota of, um, what's her face? Magic Missile from Vengeful Spirit. That dream just heard. Here's to be a cave, continuing that way. Oh, there's some coal over here, which I just must take. So I'll do that quickly. And we can get on to getting out of this hellish hellhole. Uh, the horrible goblin town cave I've found myself in. This is definitely not a dwarf cave. I've decided that for certain. This is, and I am not to be a part of this in the future. Whereas a horrible fast routine. Wow, it's just so like, oh, there's a little wedge you can sneak through. Sneak through. And it opens up. Whoever made this cave mod? Quark, I think, because it's the pillars. This quark mod is absolutely brilliant. I'm not a fan of charm with their monster box. Or cram. But the quark mod is brilliant. Where does that chest go, anyways? Alright. A compass. Excellent. You can show us the way home. Almost out of torches yet again. My word. It's just so dark. That looks like a hell. Alright. It's a little terrifying. So I'll make myself some more torches. I'm going to not have any coal by the time I get out of here. Is that the surface? Why is it so red? Oh, there's plenty of gold down here. I'll quickly collect that and then I can go check out whatever that is. And then I can get out of this hellish hellhole. Gold is an important resource for bewitchment. It probably is. I just I probably will need to look for a mining mod. Why is the light so red? Because of the lava. Now that's an interesting lighting mod. It doesn't seem to do that lower down. It's very red lava. Ah, oh, it's because we're exposed to the night sky. Ah, the blood moon. I see. Well, I'm going back into the cave. I don't want to be out in that. Red. And I'm averse to the color. Oh my, another great pit to fall into. That is quite the expanse. Oh, blood moon night. These cave systems are enormous. I thought that was gold for a second. I'm rather disappointed, but iron will do. 
All right. Would like a tech mod just to do some mining. That would be nice. Maybe I could add some to the mod profile. Just customize it a little tiny bit. I'm certain that won't break it. Well, let's gather this coal so we can actually smelt all this stuff we've gathered. And then we can be on our way once the night has passed. I don't fancy my luck out there in that mess. Most likely die a horrible death. And then I'd be dead and that'd be horrible. So I'll just mine coal. Most straightforward and honest of solutions. Almost got 64 of it. Hmm. What a deep cave. Oh yeah, so I just worked my way out of there. Um, no. No, I'm confused. This light's coming from lava. And I've never been down here. Is that a flash of gold? I'm too easily distracted, I think. No, it wasn't even gold. No, that's just upsetting. This isn't a dangerous location at all. Oh my goodness, look at all this lava and water spawning in close proximity. Ooh, diamonds! It was a good thing I fell down here then. Careful now. Don't want to die. That'd be rather embarrassing. Now, everybody knows the best way to stop from getting melted by lava is, of course, using wood because it's fireproof. Alright. I feel like I'm getting more diamonds than I am getting gold. I'm back down in this hellhole of underground. What am I doing? Actually, why do I keep dropping down into these places? There's nothing but trouble down here. Ugh. And this is like this. I do not appreciate it. Especially when I make them worse. Alright. There's just no gold anywhere. I'm also starving. I was about to leave the underground. And then I got distracted and I'm down in this mess yet again. And the gold seems rarer than a rare thing. Because there's no giant hammers anywhere. Really? Who designs this mod pack? Probably someone just trying to test the mod while they're working on the various different beta forms of it. Because it is nowhere near completion. Excellent. Appears we are near the watery death of the aquifer. Yet again. I do enjoy drowning. It's my second favorite pastime next to playing Minecraft. All right, well, we're in a hole, and we don't seem to be getting out of it anytime soon. So I'll work on that next time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.